Right, guys, welcome back to another past paper walkthrough series. This is going to be paper two 2017. If you haven't done paper one yet and you want to, that's going to be linked at the top of your screen now. If this is the first time you've done one of these walkthroughs, just a few little pointers for you. I generally go question by question. I'll do a little bit of running commentary about a few things to watch out for for each question, and I'll also explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. The questions are designed to be done by you as well. So in an ideal world, you are writing these answers for yourself and getting a little bit of exam practice at the same time. Okay, when we go through the model answer, I will also highlight a few bits and pieces there as well, just so that you understand what I've done. Okay, all of my model answers are designed to be realistic in an exam. So everything that I write and everything that I put down in this paper I think is a realistic reflection of what is possible on the day. Okay, they're not utopian answers that are copied out of a textbook or whatever else. They are real life examples of what you could write in your actual exam. Okay, so enough chat. Let's get straight on with section A, which is approaches, and question one in this paper is this. So we get a little bit of a stem here for us to have a little look through. It's effectively a biological approach question and it is all about genotype and phenotype. Okay so the question is explain why John's genotype will not reveal whether he will suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Okay and the question effectively wants you to realize or wants you to pick out that just because somebody has the genotype for something doesn't mean that that gene will necessarily express itself because the phenotype might be different. Okay, so the examiner is going to want to see that you understand that there will be an interaction between the environment and genes, which will then produce the phenotype. Okay, so let's have a look at what that's going to look like when it's a model answer. So a genetic test will only show John's set of genes and therefore whether or not he is predisposed to the condition. Okay, it's not gonna tell us whether he's definitively gonna have that condition or not because the expression of the genes, his phenotype, depends on an interaction between inherited factors and the environment. Okay, there are your four marks. It will tell us whether or not he is predisposed. It won't reveal whether he will develop the condition. And why not? Well, because the expression depends on an interaction with the environment. Okay, and that is question number one for paper number two. I hope that all made sense. I will see you in question number two.